Hey Tubies, we're back and we're moving on with our more car restoration. Anyway, what we're concentrating on today is doing the front inner wing support and moving on to the front panel, which has been my complete worst nightmare and I've been putting it on forever and more. So let's get on and see what stage you're at and what I've gone ahead and did. I don't think I've videoed too much of it because it's just a bit pointless, boring stuff really. I mean, once you've seen a bit of rust repair, you've seen it all, haven't you? So let's see what we're at. So I went ahead, that's the replacement panel in situ now. So I'll show you what how I got to that stage. The original panel was spot welded through there. So I drilled out all the spot welds and then it sort of underneath because it sort of goes up and bends over that inner panel but it looks a bit of a mess at the moment so I've gone ahead and MIG welded the holes up and I've flat wheeled it all down it still needs a bit more work I don't know if I'm gonna leave it like this for now and fill it or I might come back and try and re-plug it again with the welder originally I painted this inner wheel arch support the A post support with a two pack hardener paint and i've got to be honest it's good stuff because i had to grind the, the paint down to obviously get to shiny metal to weld this seam in and it did it, you could see it was struggling really so that's quite a good happy hard finish on that then probably do is give us what i wanted to do was give us a coat of etch primer just to seal it and then eventually i might just give it before the wing goes on i might give it a quick coat of this black stuff as well and there was a metal support there in a wing support and so that's welded spot welded on there and there's a little piece there if you can see that from underneath as well now I'll tell you what I did and I'm not that happy with because it was shiny metal when I was welding through I used this stuff which I thought would be because it's you I've always quite like their products it wasn't cheap weld through rich primer so what happened to me was, this was all shiny metal under here. This was all shiny metal under there when I had all the holes exposed. So I plug welded them all and I know this stuff is, can be quite difficult to weld onto as well as you've got to burn through it. So I did that and I left it and then when it started cooling, it literally just popped off. So I don't think I'm going to use that stuff again. Maybe I might just use it just to seal something, but I'm not going to use it for actual weld through. So pretty much now our wing support is in place now. There's still a whole lot to do. I still need to, I've got the wing, there's a wing support bracket that goes on this A pillar here. But what I'd like to do is hang I'd like to hang the wing back on because I want that needs to be spot on again. I mean, you've got flexibility here with the um, the fixings, and it goes through. But I think what I want to do first is move on to the most nightmare bit of the car that I've been putting off forever and a day was the front panel repair. I don't know. In my previous videos, I told you that. These panels were available back in the day when I bought the car. They were like £400, I think, for a complete front end as one piece. So you could just pretty much remove the front end of these and just put a whole new front on them. I mean, it was a fair bit of work involved, I think, because you'd obviously have to split all the seam joints here, all the overlapping welds, spot welds and everything. But that would have given you a brand new nice front panel. But for something in their wisdom, they stopped producing them. The only thing they make now for the front panel is literally the lower panel. So now a skin, they literally make sort of, I think it sort of replaces this bit only at the bottom. That's all it replaces. But that hasn't helped me in any way because the headlight bucket is completely rotted out inner side of the headlamp the back end of the headlamp is completely rotted out and lost its shape as well there so what i'd like to do is obviously i'd like to hang the wing back on then i can see roughly what shape i need that to be there 
I don't know how far up to the wing it butted up to, to be honest, but I don't know if it was sealed in. I don't know. But that's a few steps ahead of the game. So we've got our wing support in, which is half good. I've, that stops there. I think that does. I think what happened before was that plate came behind there. What I might do, and it, then you can weld, spot weld that onto the front panel. Anyway, what I'm planning on doing now, just take it as small bite-sized chunks. Right, I'm going to get some cardboard, I think. I'm going to make, I'm going to get a cardboard template. I'm going to fold it round. What I want to do is fold that cardboard round to the underside. And I might just stop it under there. I mean, this is going to be made up in several sections now, I think. I'm not going to, and then it needs to come down, obviously, but... But I think all I'm going to do is break it down in sections, I think. So I'm going to get a cardboard template made up for this to come around and go underneath and stop. Maybe I might put a little lip on the underside. So it's, when I do the next part, it'll have something to meet onto. And also, I can this, if this cardboard template works out, I can use it for the other side because the other side's rotted out as well. That's an inner headlamp support there. I'll have to clean that up, just make it all shiny, cut the rot off. And there's another piece behind there that's part of the headlamp support. So I've got some cardboard. After endless amounts of chopping up bits of cardboard, I even got the old wing out. To see, I thought this wing lip sat right underneath there. Where's my finger gone? But it doesn't, it looks like. It looks like it sits. I don't know if you can see that kind of a line there, actually. There's some kind of line running through there, and it seems to sit up on there. But what I was mainly concerned about was how the inner wing sits around within the bumper, uh, within the front wing. But once I held it up roughly in position, I could see that it ain't that crucial. I think it's more just to stop all the dirt and crud flapping up in there from the front wheel. So this is my template at the moment for the front. If you can see that. So that's what I've made so far. So I've just found some tape actually. This is actually a better idea. If you use some like tape, thick tape, like a sort of gaffer type tape, you can sort of follow the lines the lines round. So that's pretty much, and it's giving me my front line for, this is actually gonna be inside the wing as well this, so you won't actually see that part. But what I think I'm going to, I've got that pit part ready now, so I'm going to keep that. That'll be my template for the outside. But thinking rather than just try and cut a piece of metal and stick it in the air, which ain't going to really take any shape. I might go ahead now, get some cardboard set up to follow some kind of inside this part. So I think what I'm going to do first, I'm going to keep this because that's done now, but I'm going to, Cut a piece of cardboard out. I'm going to allow for about a 10 millimeter edge on it. I think the wing was, or was that just rock? I might just make an, a piece there to go round. Keep as much as that if I can, it's good metal. So sort of maybe just, I'm just going to lap it on top, I think. Get some cardboard set up to follow that contour in there. And then I'm going to do that bit first, I think. There is our template, or my template. So I've pretty much followed the line round. I took a guesstimate at the bottom side of it. I don't know if you can, my hand's in the way, is it? So I've got quite a good, nice line there on that. That goes up inside there. So I need, just need to decide how much I need to cut off. That is quite bad there. Maybe, maybe I need to clean off the inside and then I can see how much metal I need to remove that's quite thin at the bottom there as well so I suppose if I could you've got the shape of the headlamp bucket in there I don't know if that part's crucial maybe I might just try and shake that a little bit into the metal I don't know yet I think I'm going to go ahead with this bit first so that's my template which I'm quite happy about that's worked out quite nice so a good trick in the end was literally all I did was I just used bits of strips of tape rather than try and cut a piece of cardboard to suit 
what I did, I just got bits of strips of tape and I just kept cutting them and sticking them on top of each other to give me the shape. And then once I had all the tape stuck on top of the inner part, I literally just peeled the whole thing off in one bit and just stuck it on a bit of cardboard and stuck it on a bit of cardboard. Then I just cut it around the edge of the tape. So that's giving me a solid edge now, which I can hopefully, if this is good, I will use for the other side. I can just flip reverse it for the wing on the other side. I can save these bits for when the car, if, if, if it manages to turn around. But it seems to be lacking a main component in this car, mainly an, an engine. So it won't be turning under its own steam at any time soon. I'm going to get some thin steel. I'm going to trace that out on some steel, but what I might do, I'm going to leave like a, a 10 mil gap. I'm going to draw around that, but I'm going to leave like a 10 mil gap on this edge. And I'm going to try and get it in the vise and just try and tap like a lip onto it. So eventually when I cut this outer panel part onto it, I can drill some holes, spot welding. It'd be great to have a spot welder, but... It's probably a bit late in the game on this car restoration for spot welding now. I've done of so, it so much. far that's I'm getting near to the end of the majority of the welding. The bulk of it is mainly done now. I've got the front section left and I've got a little bit of the back to sort out. Panel beating dollies that maybe I can clamp the edges of them in to tap them around. I saw a guy on YouTube, professional body re restorer of old vintage cars, and he shows you you get some hardwood marine ply. So basically what I'd have to do next would be to Trace that onto a piece of wood, cut a wood template out with the thickness on the edge. Then you cut your metal out, lay it on top, and then you can use that as like a, a template to tap down onto the, follow the contour of the thing. But if you're doing a concourse restoration where parts are going to be shown, maybe that's ideal. But seeing that it's going to be inside a wheel arch, it will never be seen and... You'll probably end up being sprayed with some kind of underseal eventually in there anyway. You won't see it anyway. So I'm going to attempt to just tap the edge out on a vise with a hammer. So let's find some metal and get going. So there's my template cut out. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's one mil steel. It's quite thick. Do we... I found some 1.2, which is quite... Good. This one looks really nice on this side, but the other side looks a bit. Uh, uh. I have to clean it down and prepare coat. It. Anyway, so I've cut round approximately 10 mil in places. So that's going to go inside the car that way. So I'm going to bend the lip. I'm going to work on that line and bend it inwards. I hope and follow it round. I don't know quite how it's going to work. I'm going to clamp it in the vise on the straight bits, obviously. I've got this cheap set of um, panel beating tools. So maybe I can clamp this behind certain parts that need like a, a radius. Then I can just sort of tap them round onto that edge. I've got various parts here. Don't know what's going to... I'll see what I can utilise. It's only a cheap set, it wasn't expensive, but... Uh... Well, Tubies, after a bit of playing around, started off with this cardboard cutout. Then I tried the technique that I was saying I was going to do, which was just basically try and shape it on a vise. But if it's flat, unless it's just a flat edge, you're not going to get much success with just a vise. I tried with the dollies, they didn't work too well. It sort of made a start, but it was a bit awkward to keep following it around. So I took my own advice, which is I cut a jig out of a piece of wood. I don't know why, but I cut it slightly smaller than the lip. I don't know why I did that for some reason. I thought it had to be shorter to allow for the lip to bend round. But it didn't work out in the end for me. But I used that anyway. I could just have to slide it around. So this is my what I've ended up with. To be honest with you, this is my first try at something like this. I don't know, what do you think? It's my first attempt. It's not brilliant, but it's done the job. Obviously, I don't have shrinking tools for shrinking the metal round corners. If you had a, like a shrinker. So that's going to fit in this way, which will give me a lip. I know it's not a great lip, but it's going to give me a lip for when I put the other piece on the front. I'll drill some holes in it and then I can just plug weld it onto that lip, hopefully. 
where I can and it's added a bit of strength as well by by obviously um, putting that lip on it that's terrible the back side of that look at the rust on it I don't know why one side's rust maybe add a bit of protection on one side but not the other anyway that's what I've ended up with it took a bit of time of fettling so the trick is cut your template out you can see what went wrong here you can see I cut it short, so what I was doing, I was just working it along into the right places where it needed to go on the line of the mark, the mark line I did. So all I did is I clamped that in the vise. You can see the line there where I was, um, what I needed to work to. So, so it is worth, if you've got something awkward to do, it is worth getting this off, but this is just, um, 12 mil ply I think but probably if you've got 20 mil ply it'll be better some off cut bits of wood 20 mil off cut bits of hardwood will be good like an old cabinet or something but so all I did is I clamped that in the vise there and I just literally started just tapping away at it it is quite time consuming but keep with it you will get there in the end this is my first try I mean the wood weren't cut perfect anyway I mean that weren't great cuts on the wood I took a bit more care with the wood then. That's obviously following suit to the wood. So I worked it round with that and then when I finished with that I just took it out of there and the straight bits I got in the vise and I just dollied them round with the on the straight edge parts. But I'm really happy with that. That's my first try that is. So I'm gonna keep that. Let's offer it in the car. So that's gonna go this way round as it's showing. That is not a bad fit. I don't know if you can see the original rot line, but that's not a bad fit. So what I can do, mark it out. I took a gamble the bottom edge there. I assumed it was gonna finish up like that. If it doesn't, I can always cut it off to suit. So that's gonna go roughly like that in position, which will give me my inner. I'm half tempted to get some, uh, like some small wood, thin plate wood, cut out, um, draw the circular bit that I need for the back of the headlight and just try and emboss it into this piece of metal. So just to give me that line round, I know it's not crucial, but rather than trying to cut it straight there. Anyway, that's another story, but let's, so that will go there like that. Once that's welded in place, obviously it's gonna replace the edge there where it's been, that'll get cut out there, the edge bit. That'll give me some structure back to the inner, way, inner in a part of the headlight section. Then I can go ahead and do the same with my piece of cardboard. So once that piece is welded in, I can, that will give me my shape then for laying the new bit on top. So I think before I go ahead and cut that piece out, so that gives you a better representation there. Now I've taken that um, overhang off. So I don't know, what do you think? That's, I'm quite happy with that. End of the day, it's going to get seam sealed on the joints as well after it's welded, and then it's going to get a coat of paint as well. So, hopefully, so I'm making progress with that. Just shows you what you can do with a piece of wood and a hammer, really. I mean, I did think I didn't expect that to be honest. I mean, one of the joints did give way there, but that's because it's such a tight joint, and there's nowhere for the metal to go, is there? So, I'm, I'm not overly fussed with that. I might just dress it round a bit, maybe. And then just when it gets the welding done and it will be seam sealed so that needs cleaning off there so even though the car's a complete basket job if you just chip away at sections eventually you'll get there in the end i think what i need to do is get the new wing out and offer that up rather than use the original probably the original is a better fit but but apparently the the pattern parts for these are from this company it says they're they're good fit parts so let's see how we get on with that anyway thanks for watching